Welcome to our cross-country road trip. <laughs> yeah, we're right here on the Oregon coast checking out the beautiful scenery. Love this drive. We've done it once before, but this is really cool now. Yeah, so our mission with this road trip is to get our car from Seattle all the way to Virginia. Yeah. And along the way, we're going to be going down Oregon, California, Arizona, mm -hmm. New Mexico, Texas, and then all of those southern states to Virginia. We're going to bring you along for all the adventures. We are currently at the Natural Bridges Overlook. It's very beautiful. It's like a couple seconds walk and then get to this beautiful view from the top. Good morning from Redwood National and State Park, California. Right now we're at the Prairie Creek Trail. We are absolutely amazed by these giants. The redwoods are so cool. We've been to Sequoia before. It reminds us yeah. a lot of Sequoia, but it's somehow more lush and green here. Yeah, yeah. They're different trees. They're, they're definitely cousins. Yeah. Kind of nice, but it's so cool to be here. It's really amazing. And now we're going to go try to find the Fern Canyon, which is apparently a wall of like all these ferns. I'm so excited to see that. We are leaving Pinnacles National Park now. It's 8.15 and as you can see, the lot is completely full. It's also really small, so you want to be first and get here and just enjoy the park as long as you can. Yes, it's worth the early alarm. here at Death Valley National Park. We're at the Mesquite Sand Dunes. We parked over there and then hiked up to the tallest spot on the sand dunes we could find. And we're taking sunset pictures. Sunsetting right there, it's so cool. We just finished up hiking on the sand dunes. By the way, it's like 80 degrees in late November, so it's hot. Um, all we had is our boots though, so let's see. Let's see what we're working on. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> I was heavy. <laughs> Damn! This is our room. We've just checked into the oasis at Death Valley. We've got a balcony out there, really cool photos here, and then got the bathroom space right here. Excited to explore! Artist's palette. <laughs> Middle of Death Valley. We woke up 20 minutes away. These colors are just popping. Blue hour is really nice. It's pretty subtle. Um, 
And as it gets closer to golden hour, the mountains here turn red, and so you get really good shots. Yes, it's absolutely amazing. We slept at the ranch at Death Valley, mm -hmm. and it was literally 20 minutes from here, like an oasis, literally an oasis in the middle of Death Valley. Strongly suggest checking it out. We booked it through Tingley, but we wanted to get out here for blue hour, and then we're gonna go check out Zabarinth Point. Yeah, Zabruski or something. Zabruski point. point for golden hour. We're currently at the Badwater Basin, these salt flats, and it's actually the lowest point in the US or North America, I think. Yeah, it's so cool. It's like 200 something feet below sea level. And we're right here seeing all the salt. So cool. And it stretches out for so much. So cool. Actually, in the summer, it gets to 134 degrees Fahrenheit around. 50 degrees Celsius, which is insane. The hottest temperature recorded on Earth, I believe, was here in Death Valley. Yeah, so we're here exploring Death Valley. In the winter. Joshua Tree National Park. This place is so unique. These trees are prickly. Never seen trees like this ever. They're all unique. And these rocks are so great for climbers. It's yeah. so cool. We've literally, so we entered the park from the north entrance down from Death Valley. Just driving around, there's Skull Rock here. We're at Hall of, Hall of Haro. Horrors. Hall of Horrors. Hall of Horrors. And after this, we are headed to Chola Cactus Garden for sunset. And we're going to climb around on these rocks for a little bit. Yes. Joshua Tree is also great for astrophotography. We are hoping to go to Rock Arch. Arch Rock. Something like that. <laughs> to the Chola Cactus Gardens for sunset. We got here right in time. Make sure if you're coming for sunset, come a little bit early because there are mountains all around and the sun will set before the time the app says. Yeah, the edges of the cactus can turn all gold and really cool. So be sure to check out Maza Trail on Instagram for the shots. <laughs> really sick yes oh my gosh it's amazing like you're just driving and we're like um are we going in the right place and then there's just thousands of these little joshua trees as far as the eye can see so cool at the arch rock here at joshua tree national park it is one of the most famous astrophotography stargazing spots and so we are getting ready we're all bundled up because it's cold here at night we've got our camera gear and we're ready to go We've arrived where? We're in Phoenix eating Mexican inspired food. This is the yes. place to try it. What's this place called? This is Limon. Yes. It's delicious. So we got some more Mexican inspired food. We left one quesadilla for evidence. <laughs> Arizona. Arizona. Woo! We're headed to Sedona.
We are out here at Cathedral Rock for sunset. What's up, guys? guys? We are out here at Cathedral Rock doing some astrophotography. This, so these are the cathedrals, and then these are like a million stars. Wow. All right, so we are on our way back down. It's all just rock, so it's super hard to see where the trail really is, and it's really steep as you can see um, we're following these currents when we can see them and also our downloaded all trails map how are you feeling doing great make sure you download your maps yes. Sedona! Yeah, we woke up, we're right here at Devil's Bridge, and we came really early, way before sunrise, because you have to be early. Yes. This place fills up fast. We were the second people here, the first people <laughs> were actually our followers. Yeah. Really cool. Nice meeting you guys. Even on a cloudy, rainy day, yeah, it will get packed. Like we're on our way down and we've passed like maybe a hundred people so far, no exaggeration. Yeah. And so get here early, like earlier than whatever you think early is, it's worth it. This spot is so cool. Yeah, we thought the rain would deter some people, but it's packed and more people are coming up the trail as we speak, so. Yes, and a pro tip for this trail, so it actually adds another mile and a half to what the blogs and stuff say, because unless you have a Jeep that can handle really difficult off-roads, I mean, your car, if it's like a regular SUV, probably could do it, but yeah. it would probably get damaged. And so it's just a really easy one mile walk if you park at the end of the dirt road yeah. and then walk it, like don't risk your car. Yeah, just walk it. It was easy. It's flat. So yeah, yeah, exactly. It was awesome, but account for a little bit of extra time for that. Other than that, we absolutely loved this spot, and now we are headed to check out. We're gonna check out the, the Bonneton Subway Trail. We'll hike. put the name. <laughs> yeah. just finished up the coolest hike. Yeah, the Banyan Canyon Trail. So cool. Make sure you put in Google Maps Dead Man's Pass, I believe. That's the correct trail head where you'll get the parking lot right there. Yes, and, and for the trail, look up the, so the spelling is Banyaton. Like yeah, there's a T. Spelled out, yeah. yeah. Banyaton Trail to Subway Tunnel. Yeah, yeah, the really cool view is the tunnel one, so make sure it's, you go there amazing it's, it's a really so steep cool. way to go up and down there's also another way that's not as steep and it's like natural staircases that's on the left if you want to do the steep one like we did it's on the right yes but really cool views up there yes and also what i did was download someone's all trails map that was going to the subway tunnel and so i would definitely suggest doing that you can even search maza travel on all trails follow me this and then the find tree. my map from this we did get lost twice but those were only two minute detours yeah. <laughs> enjoy <laughs> We are at Petrified Forest National Park. Yeah, really surprised by this park, really nice. We actually did the Blue Mesa Loop Trail. The best views in our opinion are right at the top. It's just one mile, the whole loop, but at the top, maybe like half a mile in, you see these really beautiful blue badlands that are so cool. And yeah, make sure to check out the whole park. There's petrified, actual petrified wood somewhere here. We didn't get the time to do that because this park closes at five. Yeah. Yeah. So they're really strict <laughs> about that. So you got to be in your car at five. So. Mm -hmm. Otherwise they'll find you or literally escort you out. So that's not a joke. Yeah. And then the other, so the Blue Mesa Loop is behind us. Really cool spot to check out. And then the other one is Kachina Point Overlook. You see some really cool red rolling like badland type structures. It's really awesome. So yeah, new National Park. 
Jack. <laughs> Made it to Hot Springs National Park. passage. Thanks girls. <laughs> Thank you ladies. Yay! Is this cinematic? Yeah. We are at Hall of Hollow Hall of Horrors. Hall of, <laughs> Hall of Horrors. Horrors right now. <laughs> and after this we are headed to Sedona. We're on the way to Sedona. No 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 we're going to one spot for sunset. Blythe. Blythe. No no We are out here at. What is this place? Oh, yeah, Cathedral Rock. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Future Macy. Huh? Hi, Matches. Look at this. I love this sweater. It's really nice. I hear the sleigh bells ring a ling. 